Did you know? Then in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are they in the field A group, which is comprised mostly of mammals, Vaporeon is on average, I'm not saying the whole freaking thing. Hello and welcome to Curse Mojo. What kind of an intro is this? Well, let's just say I lost the plot because today, we are going over the hood classics of TikTok singer Daniel Larson. Get ready because unlike Vaporeon, his songs are fire. Hot Saturday night, a couple cans on cool, and they need a warm full in the countryside. Yeah, a little playlist of your favorite song. Daniel Larson is probably one of the most infamous law cows that came from TikTok. He is well known for doing really weird things, like doing jumpy jacks for Black Lives Matter and honoring George Floyd. This is for George Floyd. Rest in peace, Black Lives Matter. Also saying he's running for president of the United States. In the year 2024, I'm going to be starting my presidential campaign. That might not be so bad, right? I mean, at least he's not racist. Uh. Unfortunately, the other weird shit includes flashing himself on TikTok Live. And it only gets worse. He's essentially their Chris Chan. Though there are a lot of differences. For starters, Larson is more interested in music instead of games. And unlike Chris Chan, who at one point had a decent support system living with their parents and leeching out the government, life was good enough before you know what happened. Larson doesn't have that privilege as his support system vanished long ago, with recent years involving him going to group homes and, well, being homeless wandering the streets. Having to go through all that, as well as facing trolls, does at first make Larson a tragic figure. Made even worse that he's actually quite young, currently being in his early 20s. Despite his age, he is no stranger to controversy. Sadly, he's on top of the iceberg when it comes to really creepy TikTok users. Specifically, the kind that seems sympathetic at first viewing, due to bullying, only for any goodwill to be swiftly taken away after their misdeeds come public. Though, unlike Cyrax, where scenes were clear-cut, with Daniel Larson, this stuff gets very vague as trolls really bleed into what's true and not. Since Daniel is pretty dumb, with more gullibility than Chris Chan. And, um, I have a quick question. Is the Slurpee, do you have the BBC Slurpee? Oh, okay. Thank you. So Daniel will expose himself by admitting to doing terrible things. This is Daniel Larson. I love CP. Yeah, apparently he's referring to Club Penguin. Take with that what you will. So it's unclear if he actually did these things. Or people are telling him to say that. Put it this way, for every five allegations, at least two or three of them are true. So Daniel Larson has a strange 50-50 limbo. On one hand, he's genuinely pitiful, but those aspects get drowned out by people due to many of his awful actions. As such, he loses sympathy for his struggles unrelated to that, so people can criticize his actions for dining and dashing or taking shelter in gyms all they want without having to take into consideration about his perspective as a homeless person. So, yeah, he's a strange character. Remember Alan Tutorial? Okay, so imagine that as a real person. Anyways, he made a bunch of psycho rambling songs, and today, we're gonna rate them. Yeah, I got that root beer, that ice cold tea. I got that root beer, and a couple beers. I got this root beer, and I'm chugging it down. In a strange way, Daniel Larson is actually quite similar to Cyrax, as both have deluded the grandeur of wanting to break in the music industry making similar types of music with other people's audio. You know, the cringe core genre of music. It may sound like pure garbage, but American Boy just sounds off. And Daniel Larson plays heavily into this. They have consistent sloppy lyrics and singing. He would actually keep in verses from the song he covers, or would just make a few lines of lyrics and just repeat them over and over again. I want there to be riots. I want there to be riots. I want there to be riots. I want bad if you riots. You know, maybe it's just me, but I'm starting to think this Daniel Larson person doesn't understand politics. The only rule for this list is that they have to be on Daniel Larson's official account, so it won't be confused or fake songs or anything. Number 10, On the Run. I'm the biggest hypocrite in 2021. I'll shoot you down with a machine gun. Once I get off the stew, already done. Daniel Larson, Denver, human sacrifice. Starting off hot with Daniel Larson talking about being a gangster. 
It's so funny because he looks like the most stereotypical nerdy white dude trying too hard to be cool. Even wearing a polo shirt in the cover. Want to assume he's wearing Crocs in the picture too? Though I'm not sure if that's a step of what he currently wears. Despite being a two-minute song, there aren't actually a lot of logos by Daniel Larson himself, which is a bit absurd, but that's why it's perfect enough for number 10. I'm Chief Keith gonna grab my gun. I am religious, I am a nun. Number 9, Southside. Yeezy on the track, let's get it. I'm in the casino, let's bet it. Big bank, I'll rob your bank. Fake teenagers trying to pull a prank. Fine dining record, P.R.E. I'll get your girl on her knee. A better track showing off his rapping boasts. Talking about his beef with P.R.E. records. Someone who was probably trolling him. He also gets upset that he's framed as a masturbator. Motherfucking bank records. They try to make me a masturbator. They sit on their discord all day. I would make a witty comment over it, but it will be undermined because I started the video with a Vaporeon copypasta. So he lost my vote. We on the south side. We on the south side. The south don't mess with the west. Mess with me. Here goes Mr. West. Stop the right. Stop the right. Number 8. STD Soaps. Yeah. I got the STD, I got the STD, I got the STD soaps. That's why we're cleaning, that's why we're shoving, that's why we're cooking up. And the psycho babble only gets worse from here, because here he talks about STD soaps, which is all very weird. Maybe it's a specific soap he uses when he does have an STD. Like, uh oh, I caught chlamydia again, time to use my rainy day soap today. Or the soap itself has STDs. This warm, fuzzy bubble bath. Fuzzy bubble bath? What, does he have a rug in his tub or something? Doing further research, it is actually a type of Etsy brand. That may or may not be a troll. The STD stuff is there to sound edgy. All you have to do is try STD soaps. With our soaps here at STD Soaps, we have all... The crazy Halloween special. The crazy period blood soap. Thankfully it's just edgy branding because it will make this next song super awkward. Number 7. Sex. Sex with me so amazing. All the work, no vacation. Stay off my Instagram, pure temptation. Hit a switch on the back end, like a station. Very on the nose title. Which is how Daniel Larson talks about having sex with him will be so amazing over and over again. Wait a minute, does Daniel Larson even have sex at all? I don't remember hearing if he actually did. You know what? No one needs to know that. Vodka and water and lemon. And a few other things I cannot mention. Well, whatever happens, I hope he brings his SED soap with him. Now, as if the madness wouldn't get weird on this one, it also gets a remake with an unrelated argument. All the work, no vacation. Stay off my Instagram, pure temptation. No, I'm a switch on the back end, like a station. Number six, work. Work, 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 work. You see me do me dirt, 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 dirt. Work, 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 work. You see me do me dirt, 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 dirt. Now, there were a few songs that I imagine were inspired from the trolls. To get Daniel Lawson to make songs about how he is gay. Like the explicit title song, um, I'm Gay. Hello, everyone. Did you know that I'm gay? <laughs> Or maybe the one where Daniel Larson loves talking about how much he loves peanuts over and over again. I love peanuts. I love peanuts. I love peanuts. I love peanuts. Yeah, I know what they were trying to do. But I think the one with a subtle homoeroticism is a song labeled Work. Yeah, shake that ass, boy. Shake that ass. Yeah, shake that ass, boy. Shake that ass, uh, yeah. Frick it right, frick it right. 
I mean, I, it's not really implication, he's just outright saying it. It even has a motif of construction. A field only known for the manliest of men, which adds a lot of flavor to the song by making it totally freaking gay. I would say Daniel Larson slay, but he's threatening people on camera. Number 5, Funky Tonight. Get down with it. Get funky with it. Fairly interesting track that's saved solely from the background music he chose. It's a song supposed to give people some energy, but for some reason, Daniel's unusually tame and calm throughout the entire song, almost like he's acting like a robot throughout the entire thing. He even made a very overly animated music video of him dancing to the song, and oddly enough, it actually quite works. Despite the poor singing, it actually is quite catchy. Number four, Grace and I. Grace and I have been so turned on. We've been writing songs and talking about love. It's a long story of when we want to. When she turns 18 and getting it on. We talk about sex, 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 sex. So, this is one of the elements of Daniel Lawrence and I talked about early in the video. Like I said, while many of Daniel's creepy comments might have been forged by the trolls, there were a few times where it's just Daniel being Daniel. Similar to Chris Chan, Daniel Larson has a lot of fake girlfriends. The difference with Chris is that Daniel's preferences are for younger girls. Mostly smaller infamous celebrities that caught his eye. The most talked about is Grace Vanderwall, who was shown on America's Got Talent one time and is the one that Daniel Larson is most obsessed with. As such, many trolls posed as her, and I think she became slightly aware about it too. In this song, Daniel Larson sort of tells it himself with all the stuff that he and the quote-unquote Gracie did together. Now, during the making of the song, she was actually 17 years old, so he was talking to a person pretending to be a minor, I guess? Eventually, Daniel and the fake Gracie have a sort of fallen out, with Daniel Larson making a diss track towards her. But it's just him saying slurs. No, really, it's not even a real song. It's literally just that. You're a fucking bitch ass nigga dick sucker I think aliens are cool. But not the illegal aliens. Well, so much for not being racist. You know who would never do something like this? Our boy Justin RPG. Because he likes both Reshiram and Zekrom. And with all this disturbing context and chaos, I feel this is worthy for the list. Number 3. Running From My Past Now I see your favor surrounding me. I see my help is on the way. All the sins that move against me move past. Now in this song, Daniel Larson talks about his past experience catching up to him, where he really tries hard to give this song some meaning. And you could tell he put in a lot of effort despite the poor quality. I consider all of my actions. I consider all my actions. I take a step back and close my eyes. Take a breath and see the past like a backpack. But now I carry it up like a pack. I carry you. I'm sure the song is a way to acknowledge his past sins, which even includes the time he flashed people on camera. So even though the song itself is amateurly done, both lyrically and vocally, you can kind of tell listening to the song that attempt was made, which to me makes it hard not to put it on the list, even when he's still continuing to sin. Running from the past, but now I carry it up like a past that I just forgot. Number two, Roaring Thunder. Now, one thing that Daniel Larson has opposed to Cyrise that he actually did get a song published in some sort of independent label, a trio of songs in fact, with Roaring Thunder possibly being the most infamous. But it's not as straightforward as you think. 
For starters, the song clearly wasn't made by him, as you can see from the rest of the list, even on the ones he tried his best on. So, most likely, he bought the lyrics off of someone else. In a long time means that it's been a while since I was performing, basically. So, in other words, there's like, you know, um, I added like a relationship side to it. Yeah, you clearly didn't write all that, don't freaking lie to me. But there's also a lot of speculation, and with how sloppy his singing is, many believe that he was auto-tuned. The most common theory is that Daniel's longtime friend, Bob, financed a lot of this. But that doesn't mean he was making bang, as we clearly see. So, none of this really matters, since despite how much Larson hyped it all up, he didn't really gain a lot. Um, you remember me? Yeah, it's been a long time. I know, how's it going? Well, I'm famous now. Yeah? Yeah, okay. and um, I have my all my music on Spotify. Like, all distributions, everything. Where are you living? I am currently homeless. Homeless, okay. But I am making it, so. Okay. And I'm going into studios, which is only making me more money, so. Yeah. And now for some honorable mentions. Something more. Another published song. Light in your eyes tells me it'll be okay When you're beside me, the world fades away Why couldn't it always be this way? The Barbie song. It just came out recently, so I had to put it somewhere. I made Barbie girl in a Barbie world My boobs are fantastic and I'm plastic I can brush my hair, I can take it everywhere Fake News all these fake record labels trying to reach out to me One thing they don't know is they call me Big D I'll be hanging out here with Roach Records We've been making them G's Number- oh god, it's Sonic Number one, Gang Life I am the leader, my team is my gang Stop messing with me because you're neither I am the king, hand me my crown I got a smile and you got a frown you think this is a game? You look like a clown. I'm covered in ice and I think I might drown. Another rap video from Daniel Larson, but unlike the other ones, some lines feel like they should flow well, but Daniel ruins it by not doing so. Fine dining go out like a bang. Company is more ass than Harry Potter. Goblet of fire. Some of the other rhymes feel like they came straight out of Dr. Seuss. I got a nine in my hip making you nervous Gonna send your ass back to Sunday service And it's that balance that really makes things so bad is good Not only that, but this video was also one of his best performing tracks on the channel Having a very decent 60k And it's also one of the oldest rap songs he made So this is indeed the closest to being a hood classic When you bit look at me she cries and begs in her pants looking like a third leg. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want, you can watch some of my other content. I think I'll be taking a break with some of these more scummy love cows. I kind of prefer going to some more funnier, harmless stuff. Like, I don't know, some dopey looking Sonic character or something. And look, I got a logo. It's a rotten mango with a fresh leaf. Very perfect for these type of videos. Have a nice day and I hope to see you soon.